Yeah, let's show the Newman projection for butane. Um, similar set of rules. You have first your uh, your carbon in the front, and um, what I like to do is uh, make that uh, methyl group um, in the front always up. So I'm going to leave this front carbon stationary. So there's a carbon right there in the middle. Then there's a carbon uh, attached to that going up. Actually, it's just it's a methyl group. And I'll draw the uh, kind of like that inverted peace symbol uh, carbon behind it, which you can't see. And uh, there's going to be the uh, so we have one, two, third carbon behind it you can't see, and then there's a fourth one attached to that um, carbon that's in the board. You got your uh, hydrogen sticking out, and again, Newman projections are kind of a three-dimensional. Uh, um, well, it's kind of a two-dimensional depiction of something that's three-dimensional. So, you draw your uh, when you draw your your carbon uh, behind the front one, and and these guys sticking out that are attached to it. Remember, don't uh, continue this line to the center of the circle. It's a common uh, error. Okay. So this first one will be called staggered, and it's actually a specific type of staggered conformation called anti, since these guys are anti to each other, kind of on opposite ends, uh, that being the two methyl groups. So what we'll do is let's turn, again, we're going to keep the front, um, this, this front carbon here stationary. We're going to turn the one behind it 60 degrees. So I want to keep the front carbon stationary and I'll turn the one behind it 60 degrees. So I got my, um, this being the carbon here, this point being the carbon. Let's turn it 60. Let's draw these all in the, not like that. And what's going to happen is if I turn it, um, if I turn it uh, counterclockwise 60 degrees, I'm going to get the method up here. Hydrogen here, hydrogen here, and these, these uh, atoms are kind of peeking out from uh, this uh, this entire group that's in the front. So we have something that's kind of blocking the view of what's behind it. Um, we're going to call that uh, eclipsed. And just like if the uh, moon blocks the sun, an eclipse, right? And since you have your methyl groups actually uh, being, uh, oh, this methyl group is eclipsed by the hydrogen. This uh, hydrogen is being eclipsed by the methyl group. What we're going to call, we're going to call this methyl hydrogen eclipsed. So I'm just going to draw that front carbon again. I'm going to leave that stationary and I'm going to keep turning it in the same direction, 60 degrees. It's going to go to staggered confirmation. But now look where the methyl group is. Methyl group's up here now. If I turn it same direction, kind of clockwise, 60 degrees, and the group's over here. So I still have a stagger. Except now when I have the methyl groups uh, 60 degrees apart from each other, that's got a special, another special name. It's called gauche. When the methyl groups are 60 degrees apart from each other, that's going to be called gauche. And if I turn it again, I'm going to leave the front carbon, this front carbon here stationary. Turn it again 60 degrees. Of course, what you'll get is something like this, where now it's eclipsed. It's in the eclipse confirmation. Although now it's, oops, I actually left out a, should be CH3, right? And it's tough to draw in because this methyl group is actually eclipsing this methyl group up here. So which is why this uh, Newman projection is going to be called methyl methyl eclipsed. Methyl methyl eclipsed. Since this methyl is, is eclipsing this methyl here. Yeah, that's uh, for... Uh, for confirmations, let's try to draw an energy diagram just below it. So 
So I have energy here. And I think I mentioned this in the last video. Um, yeah, atoms uh, like to have space. So if they're clumped up together, more energy is going to be required for them to have that confirmation. I like to compare it to uh, if you have to go uh, on a uh, subway car. If you if you walk in, it's not that crowded. A couple empty seats for you to stretch out. You don't feel that tense. You feel kind of relaxed. But as soon as the you know rush hour comes along, and someone's close enough to accidentally jab jab you in the ribs with their elbow, you're going to get a little bit mad. Going to have a little bit more energy. You're going to be more tense. So obviously these guys here uh, that are eclipsed are going to have more energy than the staggered. Right? These confirmations are going to have more energy than the stagger because of that steric factor. Right? These guys are kind of cramping cramp each other's style, they're in each other's way a little bit. So they need more energy to remain in this confirmation. The fact that this uh, methyl methyl are the two largest of these groups kind of sticking out rather than just the hydrogen as you have in this case this is methyl hydrogen this is methyl hydrogen but now, now you have the two largest uh, methyl groups kind of um, closest to each other so this this is going to contain the highest energy it's going to contain the highest so that confirmation is going to contain the highest energy so let's see what we have Let's start with the uh, anti, and uh, anti has the lowest since the methyl groups that are the bulkiest are furthest away. Um, they're, they're, this is a, probably the most in, in the most relaxed state. This confirmation here, and uh, again because these two bulky groups are, are, further, are farthest away from each other. And uh, so we'll start down here. And as we turn, as we turn 60 degrees. Energy is going to go up and come back down as we turn another 60. So let's see, we started here, we started anti, then we went to uh, methyl hydrogen eclipsed over here. Which makes sense because now these, these atoms are kind of a little bit more cramped. It's going to contain more energy. So it actually goes up by 16 kilojoules per wall. So what I'll do is there's a change of 16 kilojoules per molar you know, of uh, energy. And as you turn another 60, uh, at this point we're at the we're at the gauche right here. So um, staggered uh, the, these uh, again these atoms are aren't as close to each other as they were in the eclipse so energy is going to come down right although although look at this the methyl group starting to get a little closer right these guys starting to get a little closer to each other so it's going to come down but not all the way it's only going to come down to about here so that you have a change from where we started to this point of only 3.8 kilojoules per mole okay so, so still Stagger still has low energy because again the atoms are kind of kind of separated, but the methyl groups get a little closer to each other, right? So that's why there's a difference of 3.8 kilojoules per mole from this guy here to this guy here. Here's where they're furthest apart. So let's continue to go up. We're going to turn it. We're going to turn that bond, that, that central carbon-carbon bond, another 60 degrees. And now remember, if we turn this another 60 degrees. These guys are now. The two, um, th those bulky methyl groups, at least bulky relative to the hydrogens, are, are now nearest to each other. So this can contain the highest amount of energy to be able to remain in that conformation. Right, very, very cramped. It's going to come back down. If we keep turning to, let's rest for this in here. This is going to be. Methyl methyl eclipsed. Instead, this was uh, said this was gauche, right? This point here was gauche, and when it comes back down, if we do another 60 in this direction. Well, if we move this methyl group another 60 degrees, it's, it's, it's going to be gauche again, right? So the methyl group is going to be on this side now, right? All I'm doing is I'm just continually turning 
that bond that you can't see it's kind of in the board I'm just turning uh, I'm just rotating that rear uh, carbon uh, which is right over here which you can't really see but we definitely get to follow along with the uh, with those molecular models right so back down to gauche the same point here oh and um from this point to this point here we have a change we have a change of 19 kilojoules per mole change of 19 kilojoules per mole and from the gauge we're going to go back up to another 60 degrees to methyl hydrogen eclipsed oops methyl hydrogen eclipsed should be CH3 there and then we're going to come right back down we'll be at anti again and if we want you know some some books uh, probably have the each individual structure drawn here I just kind of just kind of um, labeled it right but if we each if we start here and we do uh, 60 degree turns to turn it into the next or, or subsequent confirmation if we go from here to here right back to where we started should be a 360 degree turn right in the circle let's see just go from here to here that's we turn it 60 degrees from here to here that's 120 from here to here that's 180 from uh, this methylmethyl eclipsed to this uh, gauche that's going to be uh, 180 plus 60 that's 240 240 plus another 60 which is going to be the methyl hydrogen eclipsed which is 300 and we'll go back to the anti that's a full 360 degree turn again of that carbon carbon bond if I were to draw the butane this way let's see if I were to draw it just you know, very simple flat molecule which obviously is not how it really looks which is the whole purpose of Newman projections um, to begin with what I'm rotating now is this bond here to uh, result in all these different Operations. 